What's up? Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. Um, uh, we're going to do some stuff. We're going to do four things that I've never done before, and we're going to do it all in one pot. So stay tuned. You're going to want to check this out, I think. All right, so I'm doing four dishes in one crock pot, and I don't know how it's going to work out, and I've never cooked any of these four before exactly. Bottom layer is going to be some sweet potatoes and apples. I'm going to get these chopped up and put in here, and then I'm going to put another liner on there. I'm going to cook turkey on top of that. I've got some leftover cornbread and some chicken that I cooked a couple weeks ago and froze. Uh, I'm going to make some chicken and dressing, cook on top of that, and then I'm going to try and do like a pumpkin cobbler thing on top of all of that, and I'll just let it go and see what happens. Two um, sweet potatoes that I've sliced, I've peeled and sliced pretty thin, and then two apples that I sliced a little bit thicker probably, and uh, about a half a stick of butter I'm just going to pour on, on top of that. It's a little warm, okay? And then we're just going to mix this in until, okay, be careful not to dump any out, okay? And just so all that butter gets uh, coated on it, like this right here. And then we're going to go ahead and pour this into the liner. And we're going to pack these down really well and put about three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and a teaspoon of cinnamon on top. And just mix that in. Sure. Get that smashed down to the bottom as best I can just to save room because I am cooking an awful lot in one crock pot. And I'm putting another liner on top of that. And to that, we're going to put these two turkey breasts. And these are boneless and skinless. I actually bought a whole turkey and filleted it all out. Um, and then you'll get to see a video on that next week because I filmed a video on that before I did this cook. I'm going to put these in and then I've got some seasoning that I put on some roast chicken uh, a couple of weeks ago and I'm just going to put some of that on this chicken. I'm sorry, on this turkey because it was pretty good on the chicken so I figure it'll be good on the turkey. Sure. Got that covered top and bottom with some seasoning and I'm putting liner number three down. And again, just trying to get as much space in here as I possibly can. Um, I'm keeping this in the fridge overnight. You would normally want to brine your turkey, I think. I've never cooked one, but I'm pretty sure you would. But since there's a lot of salt on that seasoning, I feel like it's going to be like a dry brine, and that's going to take care of that. But it is still hanging out overnight. Push that over to the side and get this dressing started. So I've got about three quarters of a loaf of cornbread. Hang on. And we're just and one chicken breast that I've shredded up. And to that, I'm gonna add about a can of cream of chicken. I can do. It. Okay, I may have to help you rake that out a little bit. You want to come in all of it? Yeah, we'll put all of it in there. That's that's good. And then you. I'm gonna start out with maybe a half a a half a cup to a cup of chicken broth. Can you pour some of that in there? Oh no, we'll go. We'll see what that looks like. And then in a, in a little bit. And I've got a little bit of uh, dried sage. I'm just gonna put uh, maybe a teaspoon or so of that in there. All right, I mix that up and it's a little bit dry so I'm gonna add a little bit more chicken broth in there and I just put some in the bottom of that cream of chicken soup can so that I got the rest of it out of the bottom as well. Wait. All right, so we're gonna get this in here. And I went ahead and tasted this while I was mixing it and I added a little bit more sage. The good thing about this, since the chicken's fully cooked and the cornbread's cooked and all that good stuff is you don't have to worry about like getting sick from eating stuff that's not cooked because it's all cooked. Um, we're gonna get this in and spread it out just as thin as we possibly can and uh, get on to dessert. Got a cup of self rising flour and about a quarter cup of brown sugar and a teaspoon of uh, cinnamon. Can you mix all that in for me? Mm -hmm. And then I've just got some pumpkin pie filling. I tasted it. Um, it needs a lot of work, so hopefully that brown sugar and cinnamon is going to help that out. And then I'm just going to get that combined and then just start adding this till it kind of looks like cake batter. And then we'll get another liner in on top of that of the can of pumpkin pie filling in there and then there's a half a stick of melted butter I'm putting in there. 
also, and we should get this combined pretty well. My last liner in, and I'm really running low on real estate here, but I think we're gonna have just enough room. I got this in. That's the consistency I think I'm going for, and this should wind up being like a pumpkin bread kind of thing. But we're just gonna rake this out in here and let it sit on top. Put that in there, um, everything should be good to go. I'm gonna leave this in the fridge overnight. I'm gonna put it on low when I go to work. And I don't exactly know how long it's gonna take to cook because the more stuff that's in a crock pot, the longer it takes to cook. So I don't think it's gonna hurt anything for it to cook all day, but um, I think my wife will be home for most of the day, so if something starts burning, she can always just turn it off. I don't recommend doing this. I'm doing this because I think it's gonna be funny, and it's cool to see what all we can cram in a crock pot and it not turn out inedible. But anyway, we're gonna get this in the fridge and I'll see y'all tomorrow. This cooked for about 10 hours or so, and the top of the dessert looks a little funny. I'm not exactly sure what happened. And I don't know how well you can see that, but it kind of crusted over on the top and there's butter and stuff. I'm gonna make it look better, I think, here in just a second though. But what I'm gonna do is just take each layer out and lay them into a bowl. Uh, top that with some marshmallows and toasted them up with this heat gun and we'll go on to the dressing I'm gonna hit this with a heat gun too. Just get a little crust on top This turkey is like super tender and juicy and like falling apart back here it smells super good Oop, I just broke in half right there didn't matter though because we was going to carve it up in a minute anyway. These sweet potatoes and apples, I'm just going to spoon these out into this dish. There you have it. Um, this sweet potatoes, they look great and those marshmallows really make them pop and stuff. The turkey looks fantastic. Sweet potatoes taste great. Just had some of those, licked the spoon. Not gonna lie. And then that dressing looks pretty killer too and I had some of it, it's great. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna get this plated up and chow down. Happy Thanksgiving.